All right, we're dealing with um, taking off this uh, F2 sprag. We're taking this, the, the uh, snap ring out. So we're gonna change the F2 sprag, I mean. And here's the snap ring that you have to take out. Before you had to take the seals out, you take the snap ring out so you didn't uh, destroy the seals if you were going to uh, do that. Uh, not rebuild. Now make sure that this is free willing. It's turning. Uh, it has to turn counterclockwise. Look at how you're holding it. See, not this way. Hold it in this direction. Make sure it turns one way, lock the other way. Okay, you take the shaft out. And we're going to this sprag. There's a snap ring in here that we have to take out. Okay, remember this plate? This is in one of the 7229 plates. The 7226 takes the same plate. It has the same pump here set up. This is going right into this transmission. Okay, so now we're going to take this F2 sprag out. And make sure you look at it. And we're going to discard this one because we're replacing it with a new one anyway. But uh, make sure the inside where the sprag is is okay and not scored. If it is, you have to replace that. So here's the sprag. Okay, now we have a new sprag. Um, you probably want to make sure you match them up because sometimes uh, the parts suppliers do make errors, do make mistakes. You want to make sure you have the right thing. Because you put the wrong one in and you'll be taking the transmission out again. Okay, I'm matching it up right here. Slip it right on in. Once you snip it in, then you got to put this the snap ring back inside its groove to hold it in place. Once you put the snap ring in, then put the shaft in. Again, make sure it turns the right direction. Clockwise, counterclockwise, excuse me. Next, you take the snap ring that holds the shaft from falling out of the sprag. Put that in. And then after you put the snap ring in, and you follow with the two O-rings. Um, again, if you are rebuilding, you will have new O-rings supplied. If you are simply repairing, then you reuse the same O-rings. Okay, so you check it to make sure the shaft doesn't fall out. Turn it again if you want to make sure it's turning the right direction and then back and then you follow along with the o-rings make sure that you see the grooves that they are supposed to be in because those o-rings are fitting inside a groove and make sure you do not cut them because if you do you will have leakage again this transmission had only 80 some thousand miles on it which is why this is just a repair.
Okay, make sure you lubricate those O-rings and the part that is going inside the K3 drum, which this is the K3 drum. And what you have to do, you have to turn the hub so that the teeth that are within the clutches align with the hub splines. They have to go all the way to the bottom. You will hear it because it will clunk. Turn it to the engage with every clutch that's inside that drum. Okay, now we're going to deal with the rear planetary and the front planetary. We're going to put these two together. Make sure uh, you watch out for these ceiling rings that's on here. Do not want to cut them. There's a washer that, a bearing, excuse me, that rides. Make sure that bearing is there. Now, I'm putting it in this way. However, you will find out there's a, a, a better way of doing it, which I will show you that because it will be hard for me to put it in this way, or complicated that is. Uh, it, there's a ring gear that should go in first, and the snap ring, and then stick the rear planet, or excuse me, the front planet, inside of the rear planet. So here's the ring gear. So, this is not the, the best way of doing it. So, when I I'm going to take that rear planet out and put this, the ring gear in first, along with the snap ring. That's the best way. Fits down. Now I want to show you they have holes inside here. So you want the lugs, these lugs will fit down inside of the notches that's inside the drum. Alright, then you put the snap ring in to hold that uh, ring gear inside. Alright, then we can take the front planet here and put it inside of the ring gear. Now we have the part where we put the F2 sprag in that has to go, which is a sun gear, that has to go in mesh with the rear planetary and the K3 clutch drum will be on top. However, this is the best way of doing it and if you 
have the rings there you have to be careful now what I'm doing if you can do it this way you can but I found out later on that it's not really the best way to do it try to put this on first which is the sun gear down there and be careful with the ceiling rings and you turn it until it drops down like that then you can try to put the K3 uh, clutch drum on top but then you have to turn it so that the clutches uh, that's inside this drum, the teeth can align with the hub that is trying they're trying to align with. Um, it turned too much for me, so I end up taking them both out and putting them both in together. So out it comes. Easiest way I found was to put it back inside. Side of that K3 drum and bring it down all the whole assembly together and let the sun gear uh, engage with the planetary. There it fills all the way down. Now we have the washers and the snap ring and the bearing and look at the particular washer one has a step in it okay. note how it goes down it's the first one this uh, that's the snap ring this one right here that has the step in it goes down the raised end is up and then you put the bearing on top of that and then the washer and then the snap ring holds it all together again if you have the ceiling ring on here be careful spread it open and slowly go down so, so as not to cut the snap uh, the uh, ceiling rings now once you get the snap ring in it holds that whole assembly together We have this part of the transmission fixed and I guess we're going to move on to uh, part five.